But before you do that, can I, I just want to say one quick thing about mock-ups. It takes about 30 seconds. I think everybody here, anybody who wants to score movies these days, has to be able to do as convincing an orchestra at home as they can. And for me, the surefire way of getting good at that is pick a piece that you like. Pick a piece you want to study the composition of, but also the orchestration. Find your favorite recording of it. Put it into your DAW and click it out. Make a click track that matches your favorite recording of it. Mute that recording and then play every part in by hand. Don't don't enter the notes, step writing, and then play it like a performer. You're not when you're writing music for flute. You're not writing for flute. You're writing for a flute player. Play it in. If you have to cut the tempo and have to play it in and then restore it, that's fine. But play it like a performer and think like a flute player sitting there in your chair, where all you've got is your music and what you're hearing around you and the conductor. When you get through a good chunk of it, maybe a minute or so. Render that as a wave file. Put that under the wave file of the CD recording. Now put a splice in every bar. And then checkerboard mute the two files. So you go from the live recording to your mock-up to the live to the mock-up to the live to the mock-up. And make notes on a piece of paper. My oboe is too loud. My strings are too dry. My tam-tam is too washy. Go through into your MIDI session. Make those changes. Don't make them like a volume graph on the track. Adjust the track volume. Also, don't do things with volume as do things with velocity as much as possible rather than volume. When you get to the point where you can cut from your mock-up to your to the real thing as seamlessly as you can get it, save that layout as a template. Now you've got your Pines of Rome template. And when you have to write a piece of film music that sounds like Pines of Rome, you've got it. And I've done mock-ups of Appalachian Spring, Harry Potter, Star Wars, Pines of Rome, some of Rite of Spring, some of the planets, some of Hoedown, and I've got my templates. So if I'm like, oh, I'm scoring a pastoral sort of piece about Middle America, I've got my Copeland template. Boom, up it goes, and I can just play.